everybody, Pastor Dick here with another video, something to think about. So glad you could join us again uh, as we go through this particular uh, series of quick lessons on this heart ear connection. And one of the things that um, I'm learning the older I get is y'all life is hard. It's been hard. It's hard. It has great times. Don't, don't get me wrong. Life can be great. You have your up days, your down days, but life can be very challenging too. Um, depending on what's going on. And as I get older, the more I recognize and realize that our attitude can make a hard life miserable. Our attitude can make a life that's already hard to be absolutely miserable. You ever heard the phrase, your attitude, you know, equals your altitude? I think that's how it's said. But the reality is, is that part of that, a big part of that is true, that, you know, life is already challenging. Why add to it with, our attitude being off. The scripture says in everything, give thanks. He didn't say because of everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. I'm not giving thanks because of the hardship. I'm giving thanks in spite of the hardship. Paul says in Philippians 4, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. When the Bible says something twice, it says it's to emphasize it. Not deny what's going on, but choose to rejoice. Because our attitude can make life a little more miserable. Life is already hard. Why add to it with our attitude about it? Again, don't live in denial. It's just our approach about it. Instead of, oh, today, got to do all this stuff. No, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be glad in it. Yes, it's going to be challenging, but God made me for this day and I'm made for this day. And I'm going to choose to rejoice and be glad. What am I trying to tell you? You learn to play with the cards you dealt with. You learn to play with the cards you dealt with. I play spades and there are times where me and my partner had a bad hand and we made it work and won with a bad hand. If you're a good player, you know how to play with a bad hand. Life will throw stuff at you, but you got to learn to play with a bad hand sometimes. And if you ask for wisdom, ask for guidance, God all up in it, you can make it work with a bad hand. Check your attitude. Check your temperament. Just because you feel it doesn't mean it has to control you. Learn to counter it. Don't deny it. Be honest. I'm sad today. I'm mad. I'm frustrated. But God's good. But I'm going to overcome this. But I'm not going to let this control me. Peace is not the absence of worry. Joy is not the absence of sorrow. Rejoicing is not the absence of anger sometimes. It's learning how to feed one and starve the other one. You got to learn to live within that tension at times. And don't, because what happens is if we start over to one side, we start getting spiritually delusional. I'm not angry. I'm always happy. You lying. I'm not sad. I'm joyful. You're lying. No, I'm sad about this, but I'm going to choose joy. I'm worried about this, but I'm going to choose peace so I can overcome what I'm worried about. And let the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your heart in mind. Check your attitude. Because while people can see your outside smile, God really knows your heart. And sometimes we need to ask God, Lord, help me with my attitude as it relates to this. Because God wants us to serve and to do his will out of love for him and love for his people. So glad you joined us again today. Hope you enjoy these videos. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Share them with somebody. Tag somebody. Thank you all for joining us. God bless you. See you later.